Hi, if you follow the channel, then you probably know that I'm on a mission to find the best solution to extend the range of Wi-Fi in that project. Now, in the previous video, I tried to do so by increasing the power, I mean the transmit power of the access point. But as you probably saw, and for reasons explained in the video, unfortunately, it wasn't very successful. So in this video, I'm going to try a different method. Specifically, I'm going to try to use different types of antennas. More specifically, I'm going to replace the factory antennas that came with the access point with potentially some better ones and see what happens. Wireless routers and access points usually come with low gain omnidirectional antennas, typically offering 2 to 5 dBi of gain. Essentially, the coverage area resembles a donut shape around the antennas. When the antenna is in a vertical position, wireless signals propagate horizontally in all directions, but not as much vertically. And because of this, it is generally best to position the access point with an omnidirectional antenna somewhere in the center of a group of client devices. Now, there is also high gain omnidirectional antennas, for example, one with 6 dBi to 15 dBi gain, or maybe even higher. They will have a narrower vertical coverage, but wider horizontal coverage, resulting in a more focused signal horizontally. This is obviously beneficial for improving horizontal coverage. However, this narrower vertical coverage makes them more directional, so they may require precise alignment for optimal performance. That's why I should be more careful than before about the placement of the access point and the position of its antennas. Now, unlike increasing the transmit power which we discussed in the previous video, the high gain antenna here not only focuses radio frequency energy in horizontal directions, improving transmit performance in those directions, but also enhances receive performance by effectively capturing signals from a wider area or greater distances. Another common indoor antenna type is semi-directional, but unlike omnidirectional antennas which radiate signals in all directions, semi-directional antennas are designed to direct a signal in a specific direction and are used for short to medium distance communications. Long distance communications though are usually facilitated by highly directional antennas. An example of semi-directional antennas is a patch antenna. Patch antennas are used in both indoor and outdoor communication setups. They are very good in indoor environments with long corridors, hallways, aisles of shelves, or dense layouts such as libraries, warehouses, and retail stores. Because of those tall and long shelves, omnidirectional antennas often have difficulty providing Wi-Fi coverage effectively. By being placed high on the side walls, or sometimes even on the ceiling, and aimed through rows of shelves, patch antennas minimize signal leakage outside the intended coverage area, making them ideal for providing Wi-Fi coverage in challenging indoor environments. Now let's go back to my own scenario. Here if I replace the low gain factory omnidirectional antennas with a patch antenna, it is not going to be able to provide coverage for the entire place. But what if I replace them with high gain omnidirectional antennas? Will it be possible to have full coverage now? Given that this is a one story building and I'm not that worried about the narrow vertical coverage. Also this way both transmit and receive are now improved. Unlike in the previous video where only transmit was improved. The answer is yes, it is possible. I mean, if I install the access point correctly and make sure the antenna positioning is correct too, it is very likely that I can achieve full Wi-Fi coverage there, which is good, but there are still a couple of disadvantages that I should consider. First of all, high gain antennas can also pick up more interference from other devices or Wi-Fi sources, as it is now more likely that other sources of Wi-Fi using overlapping channels are interfering with our Wi-Fi. 
yes that's very likely to happen because even if I do my best to choose the best channel for each frequency band which is something very important to do and if you're not familiar with that process it is all explained in that video even if I carefully do that the whole place which is kind of big is now covered by the same Wi-Fi channel making it more likely to encounter another Wi-Fi network using the same or overlapping channels also there is now one access point providing coverage for a large area this means that more client devices can now connect to the access point however the access point obviously has limited processing power and if this number exceeds its capability it can overload the access point so basically we will have an access point that provides great wi-fi coverage but cannot handle all the new clients that the extra coverage connect to the access point this might not be an issue for a place that doesn't have have too many clients but unfortunately in this project I know there are many clients in this building and it is likely that I might overload the access point which is not good So although replacing the antennas turned out to be much better than just randomly increasing the power it looks like it is still not the best solution at least not for me in this case and i should keep looking so what do you think i should do next let me know in the comments below but until then thank you very much for watching this video i hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did share it if you think others might like it too and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this thank you again and i will see you next time